Doug Christie, you're looking at Wesley Matthews still laying on the court after colliding with the stanchion a few moments ago. Here's a look at what happened to him on the drive. Missed the shot and watch the landing. Oh, yes. Ah. We don't want to speculate, but immediately he grabs his neck. And right now being tended to by the athletic training staff of the Los Angeles Lakers. Matthews, whose father, Wesley Sr., if you remember, won a couple of NBA titles with the Los Angeles Lakers in 1987 and 1988. Good to see him at yes. least moving around, Doug, under his own power. Yeah, ab absolutely. You never want to see a, a player go down. We're out here all on the same team, even though right. we're on different teams. Los Angeles Lakers, if you're just joining us, already extremely shorthanded without LeBron James, without Anthony Davis, Frank Vogel also, also without Andre Drummond, who played against Milwaukee on Wednesday night and in the third quarter lost a toenail. It's a lot more painful oh, than boy. it sounds, folks. Uh, let, me tell, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, man. Orton Tucker lost Look at it. this. Yeah. A little full court presser. Yep. A little one, two, two trap by the Sacramento Kings. You ever lost a toenail, Doug? Uh, lost many of them. Oh. I, I know uh, uh, our trainer, Pete Youngman, he, he always, he's always listening. That, that's my guy. <laughs> Blood squirting everywhere, man. He, but he's my dude, man. Right. I, I appreciate you, brother Pete. Hey, brave, man. Taking care of those dogs. And, huh? and guess what? what? Get back in there. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Orton Tucker into the paint. Wheels on Davis and gets it to go inside. Taylor Horton Tucker, one of those great success stories for the Lakers from a season ago, really emerged in the bubble during their championship run at times. Right guarded by Caruso. Barnes trying to post up against Kuzma, now gets it. Harrison Barnes with that underrated low post game. Muscles inside for the bucket. Uh, he, he got ready to put him in the bucket. He just said, uh, let me place the ball in the basket. Barnes already was seven. Yes. Caruso had that punched by Metu. Right. Cross court for Barnes on the catch. Going to work quickly on Caruso, and he draws the foul. Harrison Barnes lacerating the defense into the paint and drawing the foul. He'll go for two. Uh, you know what we say right here. Coco! <laughs> Black Falcon doing his thing. Aggressive. And then Metu beat it up. Why don't you? Kings get out in the open court. Aggressive. Harrison Barnes. I'd love to see that defense by Metu at one end. And then, Doug, tell me about the different ways that Sacramento can really exploit Harrison Barnes, who might be their most versatile player offensively. Well, what they do is whenever you, they need something, they put him in the post. You can play through him. You can put him at the elbow. You can play through him. When you saw him there at the elbow, one dribble, he's usually by the, whoever's sticking him. He gets the uh, shoulder by him. He's to the basket, shoots a free throw at a high clip. But the key is he's not a selfish player, and he will pass the basketball. So Luke really likes to play through him, especially when De'Aaron's out of the ball game. Caruso. Good D. Tucker, good D. Look at Davis stay in front of him. Kuzma with a contested mid-range jumper. No good. Boy, Harrell with the offensive board. A whistle and a foul. Boy, if you can just finish off the possession with that defensive board, but Montrez Harrell earned that one. There, there's so much good right here, uh, except this part, not getting a rebound. But there was multiple digs, multiple helps, multiple efforts, moving the feet, keeping the chest in front of players, helping your teammate. That is a good possession, just unable to finish with the rebound. Montrez Harrell at the foul line for the Los Angeles Lakers, the reigning six men of the year. Two points of the ball game so far. Remember his story going back to his priceless play in the bubble for the Clippers. The team across town had to leave the bubble in Orlando for several days after the passing of his grandmother and came back playing some even more inspired basketball, dedicating the remainder of the season to her memory. That's the end of the first quarter.